is called Freemasonry, Ancient Egypt and the Islamic Destiny. It's a book by Mustafa El Amin. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a very, very interesting uh, book uh, uh, that I advise people to, to read uh, because there is some, uh, some very interesting information you can find here. Is uh, that book in English? In English, in English, it's it published yeah. by New okay. Mind Productions, uh, which is uh, in uh, Jersey City, New Jersey. I'll put a link to that book in the, if the you show find notes. It, it's, it's, it's a very rare book. But also, uh, I was just uh, for people who want to know a bit more about uh, the possibility of peace and tolerance and dialogues, the books uh, of uh, Fethullah Gulen, uh, which is. Uh, a very uh, great uh, um, writer and thinker and uh, really uh, somebody who has done a lot for the interreligious dialogue in the real sense trying to overcome the divisions and uh, trying to find the points that accumulate each other uh, so I definitely uh, would suggest that you should uh, read something by Fethullah Gulen also he has wrote some very interesting books on Sufism and uh, also on other subjects like the New World Order. I but see. Uh, he has discussed these subjects in a very deep way and in a positive way with some in depth knowledge of the current events and also what will happen in the future. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. Um, and uh, I can also suggest there was a book uh, just uh, by somebody who was uh, in uh, my lodge, Ferdi Lodge 2818. It's called Tobias Cherton. And uh, the book is very interesting and it's called The Golden Builders. Okay. Um. Is there anything that I neglected to mention tonight that you feel is important enough to comment on for the benefit of the people listening to this interview? Well, I hope uh, that uh, this uh, war in Iraq ends at some point, but I know it's only a dream, and I know the Illuminati never want this uh, war to end because they want to make profit out of it. But it's really uh, bad to know that there is mercenaries like Blackwater who are working for the Vatican, the Knights of Malta in Iraq, doing so much havoc, creating so much fear and killing so many people, innocent people. I think that uh, really America needs to uh, have uh, a profound uh, analysis of what's happening and uh, why we are uh, in Iraq, uh, the Americans, why they are in Iraq. And so something that is completely wrong. I think we have to stop the Illuminati game because this will be the beginning of stopping all these wars, senseless wars that are made just for the control of oil, of money, of, of selling weapons. We have to stop these families. We, we will have to sooner or later hope uh, that the system, when the system cracks, the right people will manage to regain control of what is left. Yeah, let's hope so. Anyway, with the last few moments that we have remaining tonight, I would like to give you an opportunity to tell our listeners again where you can be found on the Internet, Plus, anything else that you might want to mention in closing? Yes. Um, I would suggest people to go on my website, which is www.illuminaticonfessions.webfriend.it because we have also uh, three, uh, actually four videos, but there is three uh, of them which are from the upcoming uh, uh, DVD which will be released next year. Obviously, it will be the quality will be much better than what you see at the moment on YouTube uh, uh -huh. but uh, I would suggest people to just have a look and uh, also study in detail uh, my website because uh, you will uh, at least have an awareness of 
what is really happening and who is really in control of this structure. So now that we have this awareness, what we should do? We should come together and thanks to the tool of hope and the committees of hope that we have been creating around the world, people are coming together. So people can contact us through our email, illuminati at wordfriendly.it and uh, try to establish committees of hope around the globe to fight uh, this uh, uh, never-ending manipulation of uh, people, young people, old people, everybody, which at the moment is enslaved by the system. Yeah, yeah, good point, by the way. Leo, I want to thank you very much for your time tonight. It means a great deal to me. And I, I was very curious to get some of these questions answered. And I'm glad that you were able to take the time and were so kind enough to give me the time to do that. So thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. It was a pleasure, uh, Ken. It was a pleasure. And I hope that uh, uh, we can really, in the future, have uh, an alternative media with people like you who are trying uh, to give uh, a perspective of things uh, which is uh, absolutely uh, not uh, influenced in any way by the crooks who are on top, by the Illuminati, by their mind control programs, by all their intelligence type systems. We have to stop these people taking care of the alternative media. We have to make the alternative media alternative again. Yes. That we can work towards. That's a, an excellent goal. And I support that idea 100%.